Hey, Darla, that movie was absolutely sensational. It was fabulous. You gotta see it. <laughs> you know, I heard it was really romantic. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, you know what? It was a smooth move, taking him to some super romantic flip, huh? Mm. <laughs> you want to know the most romantic part? Mm. I had nothing to do with it. Jack chose the movie. Whoa, mm -hmm. really? Yeah, well, the temperature's rising. I can feel things heating up. Some of those flames have been fanned again, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, that's terrific. Not for Stephanie Forrester. Mm. She's not gonna have the road to herself anymore. There is another classy chassis on the move. Ooh, isn't that gonna feel good, roughing oh. up that Stephanie and that hoity-toity family of hers? You don't know how good that's gonna feel, honey. Especially after the way they've been treating Macy. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, God. But Mother wouldn't despise people like that. I mean, my daughter is a lovely young girl, kind-hearted, beautiful. Anybody ought to be proud to have that girl as a member of the family, but not them, oh, no. They've never treated her like anything but a tramp from the wrong side of town. Well, we are on the way to rectifying that, aren't we, Miss Camille Evans? Yeah, 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 we, sh we sure are. What's the matter, Darla? Nothing. Yeah, there is. Come on, what is it? Tell me. Sal, when you went over to Bill's yesterday, how was he? Look, honey, I know how much you care about this man, but this is business. You gotta realize that there's gonna be times when you and I won't see Mr. Spencer in quite the same way. Oh, yeah, sure. I know that. How much does he know of, uh, about what we're doing here? What? Well, you mean pilfering original designs and then copy them and mass producing them to make a quick profit? It's practically all his idea. He's not going to be too happy if you ever found out it was Forrester. I'll say. Especially not now, when his daughter Karen is all but engaged to my daughter's husband Thorne. Look, Darla. I know that you're somehow caught in the middle of all this. I'm Sal, aware. No, of it. I'm, not, I'm not caught in the middle of it. Bill has no idea that I'm spying on Forrester. Yeah, and you do realize it's better that he never finds that out. Yeah. But honey, if you got a real conflict of interest. No, honey, no, Sally. You know how I feel about Bill. And between you and me, Karen is not one of my favorite people. <laughs> as far as the Foresters go, I mean, you know how I feel about them. I feel the same way you do. So what are you going to do? What Bill doesn't know won't hurt him. You are a gem, you know that? <laughs> you are a gem. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What is this? What's what? Look. The wife of designer Eric Forrester gave birth to a six pound four ounce girl, but it was not your typical delivery. She and Mr. Forrester's son Ridge were trapped in a snowstorm in the family cabin at Big Bear when the first major storm of the season hit the area last week. Ridge Forrester? And his father's wife trapped in a cabin? How did it happen? Yeah, good question. Oh, Darla, this is interesting. Think something fishy's going on? What if there isn't? I'll tell you one thing, you can bet the rent the foresters aren't talking it up. Oh, foresters, which reminds me, I have got to get my disguise and get to work. Yeah, right, right. You do that, you do that, honey. And in the meantime... I am gonna go out and spread a little good cheer around. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just see what this is all about. Hmm? Dad, this is exquisite. Elegant satin pants under flowing chiffon. This stuff is wild. It's the kind of stuff I would have done, and you would have fought me on it. Well, never too old to learn. Now, I want to show you something I am uh, really excited about. 
my signature piece for the fall collection. Yes? Hello, Brooke. How are you feeling? Hi, Tracy. I, well, I'm anxious to get out of here, actually. In that case, I come bearing very good news. They're releasing us tomorrow. No. Better than that. What, today? If you're ready. I can go home today? Really? You're taking up space around here. We need it. Oh, this is wonderful. So when do we come back? For the blood test? Yes. Well, I'll work something out with the lab and make an appointment. Maybe we can have you all come in at the same time. For obvious reasons, Doctor, I'd like this handled as quickly as possible. Of course. I'll get right on it. Now, in the meantime, you get yourself dressed. And I will talk to the office about processing your release papers. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Would you look at that? Dad, I am jealous. Actually, I have to give you some of the credit, Rich. I took my inspiration from your work. I love it. I just love it. Actually, I have to admit I do, too. It's the layered look. I have never seen anything like this in formal wear, especially with these leggings. Oh, fancy leggings. Oh, come on, Dad, it's bohemian. You can't weasel out of it that fast. <laughs> this is gonna be a trendsetter. It's a hell of a design. Congratulations. Thank you. Come in. No, 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 hang on one second. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Um, no, no, it's all right. I have your mail, Mr. Forrester. Good, thank you. And again, I apologize. I didn't mean to interrupt anything. They have a new design that they don't want me to see. I gotta get a picture of this for Sal. But how? Man, Dad, I really am sorry. No, it's all right, Thorne. I mean, as it turns out, it's just that new girl from the mailroom. But the fact is, it brings up a pretty important issue. You bet it does. Security. We're going to need a hell of a lot more of it this coming year. More than usual. Well, since belief was invented and developed, we're the innovators. I mean, there's a lot of people out there, unscrupulous people, who pay a lot of money to have a pipeline into this building. I beefed it up 50% two months ago. We're going to have to make a meeting with Greystone to tell them exactly our needs now. I'll make the call right away. And by the way, Dad, keep up the good work. Uh, Ridge, uh, could you wait a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. You need me to? No, thanks, though. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear who? What is the baby's name? Oh, she doesn't have a name yet. You haven't decided on a name for her yet? Well, what are you waiting for? Here. Sally, what are you, of all people, doing here? Well, I read all about you having the baby in the newspapers. And, you know, I had a baby myself recently, so I knew that incredible high you must be feeling. And you just wanted to share that? Yes. And then I wanted to bring this present by for the baby. It's great, isn't it? I've always been partial to ballet dancers. All right, let's hear it. The truth. What are you really doing here? Yeah, 
Hey, Marsha, would you call Jim Greystone in security? Tell him to give me a call. Thank you. Am I a security risk, Mr. Forrester? particular reason? I don't want you taking the question I'm about to ask you the wrong way. Must be some kind of question. It is. How did you get past security? Oh, all those guys down there, they know me. They also know the rules. Are you saying that I can't come over no, here to you see you? you have got to be cleared first. Why? Honey, you are top-level management at Spectra Fashions, and we're in the midst of creating our new collection. Oh, Thorne, good Lord. You don't think I'm going to come over here and try Just, to steal your Would design? you listen to me, please? We're talking about a matter of professionalism here. I mean, even when I was married to Macy, she had to be cleared in this building. Okay. Would you like me to leave? Don't be silly. Well, I don't want to be treated any differently than Macy was. Let's not belabor the point. I still can't believe she was with Sly last night. I'm really sorry that I even mentioned her name. Yeah, I am too. Hell, I was married to the woman. I thought I knew her. Well, sometimes we don't know people as well as we think we do. You know, for the last six months, she begged me, she pleaded with me to get our marriage back together again the entire time she's getting it on with Jake behind my back. How do you know that? I saw the two of them together. Where? At Spectra. They were making out in her office. Kissing. Look, I'm not going to do this to myself. Thorne, when did you see them kissing in her office? What difference does it make? I'd just like to know. And I'd like not to talk about it right now, OK? Look, I just came by to help you celebrate your blessed event. And you really expect me to believe that? <laughs> sure, why else would I have come by? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to find out. Well, you know me. I'm a person who admires style. And the way you had that baby in the cabin, that was high style, Miss Logan. I'm not Miss Logan, I'm Mrs. Forrester to you. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, you're getting more like Stephanie Forrester all the time. Anyway, when I read about that incredible mountainside nativity scene, I figured I'd come by and see if I could get a first-hand account. It must have been incredible. I mean, there you were all alone up there in that cabin and with... That's right. Of course, you weren't alone, were you? Ridge Forrester was there with you. Yes, Ridge was there. Well, that's incredible. I mean, how did the two of you end up there together? It was in the article, Sally. You read it. Yeah, no, but I still don't understand. It's not important that you understand everything, or anything, for that matter. No need to get hostile with me, honey. Actually, you and I got a lot in common. Oh, don't start. You may not be particularly anxious to acknowledge that, but it's true nonetheless. I don't see why, just between the two of us, we can't accept our pedigree since, frankly, neither one of us was exactly born to those aristocratic, well-heeled bloodlines. Will you stop? I could care less about your bloodlines. And please don't equate the two of us. We have nothing in common. Oh, my, my. I can see that we have been influenced by the rich and infamous. You and Stephanie Forrester taking high tea together these days, honey? I see. The two of you still don't get along, do you? So... What is the source of the problem now? Yes. Honey, I'm sorry. You see what happens every time Macy's name comes up? And yet she still keeps coming up. Well, we are going to watch out for that. 
It doesn't seem like something that we should have to be so guarded against. Karen, don't analyze this. Would you trust me? We are going to be a whole lot better if we just stay away from talking about Macy. But if she's still such a source of pain to you... <sighs> All right, never mind, never mind. Look, I want us to be together. Just tell me that's what you want. I wouldn't be here with you right now if I didn't. Listen, Karen, because you're both going to pay. You both are going to pay. What's up? Did you stop by the hospital this morning? No, but I called. Apparently the baby's in the regular nursery. Yeah, I phoned there, too. Baby's going to be fine, looks like. Looks like the worst is over. Which brings me to something I wanted to talk to you about. What's that? at the paternity test. You know, it has the potential to become a public relations nightmare. Wait a minute, I thought your friend Dr. Peters was gonna keep this under wraps. Well, she's gonna do everything she can. She don't draw blood for a hospital lab without indicating what kind of a test you're gonna run. In other words, somebody's gonna have to know about it. Here's what I've uh, told her to do. Mulholland Hospital is known for its genetic studies. In fact, they run them all the time. So uh, it's my thinking that we should run this test uh, in just in a normal manner, as a matter of course. To forget the cloak and dagger stuff? Mm-hmm. I mean, the more secrecy we surround all this in, the more likely it is to generate interest. Good point. Actually, it kind of helps the way the baby was born. What do you mean? Well, because it wasn't a normal delivery, so it's not unusual that we'd be running a lot of tests. That's exactly what I've asked Tracy to do run a whole panel of them and just to slip the paternity test in with everything else. Good. Sounds like you got this under control then. We're coming off one hell of a year, Ridge. The last thing we need is a scandal. Can you imagine the backlash if the press were to get a hold of this thing? Uh, with the momentum we've generated so far? If it all disappear, it would all be gone. We have an image here. We're a family-run design house, second to none. If we tamper with that, we lose everything. It's imperative that we keep this a secret. Don't think for a moment that I would discuss my relationship with Stephanie with you. Why not? Maybe I can help. Oh, how? Well, for one thing, we can be honest with each other. I don't think either one of us is going to be exactly heartbroken if that woman goes out and gets hit by a bus tomorrow. Sally, I want you to leave. I don't want to engage in that kind of talk. Oh, please, get off your high horse. Don't put on airs with me. I know who you are. You're just a little girl from the valley, the unfashionable side. Well, I come from a mean neighborhood, too, and both of us have been able to build ourselves up with a lot of hard work, determination, sweat, and fancy footwork. They're never going to forget that. So why should we have any empathy, let alone love, for somebody like Stephanie Forrester? Are you finished? No. Now, Eric Forrester's a different story. This man is a man. She's got potential. He's a little too big for his britches, right, maybe, all but... All right, that's enough. Never forget where you come from, honey. That's how you lose your edge. You and I ought to be friends. We could do each other a lot of favors. Sally, I wouldn't affiliate myself with you if I was drowning and you had the last lifeboat. If I was sinking, I would not want your help. I'm going to go in the bathroom and I'm going to change, and I hope you're gone when I come out. Ah, uh, Got it. She's as bad as the rest of them. Oh, Ooh. sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Genetics, blood test, paternity panel? Whoa, wait a minute. A paternity test? <sighs> wow. 
Wow. Well, 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 well. Is it possible? Is it possible that the oh-so-genteel young Mrs. Forrester doesn't know who the father of her baby is? <laughs>